We're Gavin and Emily. And we bought a school bus to convert into our own tiny home on wheels. These are our adventures. Hey everyone, we've got a bit of a rainy weekend here, so we're not planning to do a whole lot, but we do want to get some of our electrical components laid out just so we can see how big of a couch we're going to build to cover it. Other than that, we have some big news to share, so let's get started. most of the components that we need to figure out how we're going to fit under our couch. The general flow is that our solar panels on top of our roof are going to capture the sun's energy. That power is going to come down through our charge controller. We have the 100 amp MPPT charge controller from Renogy. Our charge controller will then take that power and it converts it into 12 volt energy to charge our batteries. We have six of the 100 amp hour batteries again from Renogy. Um, and then that 12 volt power will either go straight to our 12 volt uh, electronics, our lights, anything that's running on 12 volt power, or it will funnel through our inverter charger, which will change the energy to AC power, which your general household outlets run off of. Um, this is the 2000 amp hour inverter charger, so it will also hook up to our shore power plug-in, um, so if we're at a campground or something where we can plug in, we'll get energy from the outlet into our inverter charger and then that can charge our batteries from that direction. Okay, we're going to move our stuff around now and kind of see how things space out and hopefully we can get a decent layout that we can build a couch over. Cue music. So we've got some things to think about with this setup. We want to make sure there's enough space around everything so that it doesn't overheat. Um, right now, I really want us to have a passenger seat because I like having Emily with me when we're on a long trip and I like sitting next to her and being able to see the road, but... And it's safe. And it's safe. It's a real seat with a real seat belt that we didn't just screw into a wall, so it would be nice to have. If you live in a van or bus and don't have a passenger seat and have a full-time passenger, leave let us, us a comment and let us know if that works for you or if it is annoying to never be able to sit up with the driver. We don't have a lot of stuff going on with the bus this weekend, so we figured it would be nice to do a little sit down, chat with you guys, update you on what our plans for bus life are, and tell you our big news. Yeah, so welcome to the holiday season. Uh, we're not too frantic about working on the bus and getting everything we can on weekends right now because we have solved one of our biggest problems when it comes to living on a bus. <laughs> Working, health insurance, money. Money. <laughs> so I have taken a fully remote job. If you know anything about us, you know that previously we have both been scientists working in labs, which does not cater well to life on the road. But I've taken a job that will be basically reviewing data from a lab that I previously worked at. So I'll be able to do that fully remotely. All I'll need is a laptop and a little bit of internet. So. That will give us some money while we're on the road, which really it's just gas and food that we'll be needing to pay for, and that'll give us both health insurance, so that's kind of a sigh of relief that we'll be able to do this indefinitely once we hit the road because that problem will 
not be a problem. Yeah, and we have been working on like saving money obviously over the past year because we knew we wanted to travel full time and obviously that takes money. Um, so we did have savings in place and we thought, you know, if we can't get a remote job, we'll just live off our savings until we do. But thankfully, Gavin, the good hard worker that he is, found something. <laughs> Emily's also flying around, so stay tuned. Yeah. But I mentioned that we're not frantically working on the bus right now because with that change, we will be able to move out of our apartment in Maryland and live full time up here in Pennsylvania to work on the bus until it's done. So instead of having one to two days a week, on free weekends when we can come up here, we'll be able to work on it pretty much every day. So we're thinking it'll go a lot faster then. We'll be able to tackle some of the projects that would take multiple days that are a little intimidating to just do piecewise over the course of a few weekends. And so progress should pick up. Yeah, over the past year, we have obviously only been working on the bus on weekends. And so if you think about it, we've only really worked on the bus maybe 50 days total. I don't know, we've been here <laughs> 50 weekends, maybe 100 days. Not even, because we don't come every weekend. Yeah. So. so once we're living here where the bus is full time, and we'll be able to work on it every day, it's going to fly. Uh, we think the progress is going to pick up and we're going to get things done a lot quicker. So we're hoping once we move here in January that we'll be able to finish the bus in maybe like two or three months, maybe by March. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. So... Here's the picking up the pace, being able to start living within a few feet of the bus, and hitting the road sooner. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think of that? I'm pretty good. Were there any topics that you wanted to cover? That's what I was trying to think about. I don't know. What about you guys? Anything you want to learn about? <laughs> <laughs> any questions for us? Are you vibing on some hot chocolate too right now? Yeah. It's a beautiful sunny Sunday today, but we're still probably not gonna do any work. We're gonna take these dogs for a hike and enjoy our time. We'll probably be a little late on the content through the holidays, but thanks for hanging out with us. See you soon. Bye. Love you. Love you.